Boogie drop that beat. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, in the video, comment on the video, let me know what you think. So, Steve Harvey, America's unfunniest comedian, called the, the bloggers bottom feeders and stated it was mostly the black bloggers. I'm like, what? Steve, aren't you doing the same thing as the bloggers? Giving your opinion on certain topics, the only difference is you play music in between you giving your opinion and you call it radio. What background do you have in broadcasting and communication other than being on the radio? What degree do you hold in radio? So how is it that it's okay for you to give your opinion and you call it a news outlet Versus everybody else giving their opinion, you calling them a bottom feeder. Mr. Unfunny Man, you got some nerve. You have climbed so high up the ladder that you forgot that the black people are the ones that listen to your show. You play R&B, not rock and roll. Ain't nobody calling in or listening to your radio station to listen to Taylor Swift. You really need to check yourself. Your response to the black community, it really don't surprise me because when you told Monique to basically um, coon for her money and, you know, just shut up to get a check, I thought you was out of pocket then. But when you had your ex-wife put in jail just because you didn't want her to talk about your marriage and divorce, in my opinion, and you took your son away from his mother to avoid paying child support, again, in my opinion, I was like, this man had lost his mind, but you, uh, you sit up there trying to um, give out your advice. Give your own, take your own advice. You talked about Trump like a dog until he got up in the White House and then you were one of the first people to be in his face and then gonna try to say, oh, my wife told me not to do that. No, you did what you wanted to do. We know who you, who you are. You made jokes about the Flint water knowing that it wasn't funny and you know that it was a sensitive situation because tons of people, you know, they were sick and lost their lives. And, you know, people lost their, lost their loved ones. And they didn't have any control over that. They didn't do that to themselves. That crisis was done to them. And you sitting up there making jokes about it. Again, your own, your own people, the black community. So when you start talking about the black bloggers, I'm not surprised at all. Because you basically telling people to respect your wife, but you don't respect the others. And just because you scared of your wife don't mean anybody else is scared of her. You live with her. We don't. We don't really care. And for you to be scared of her, she must have told you that she'll leave you penniless and make you look like a fool by marrying one of your helpers. Because what man is, is scared of their wife? If I got to be with somebody that I'm scared of, I don't need to be with them. But you knew your wife's background before you married her. You knew what um, you knew who she was and what she did for a living. You knew all of this. So why you why you upset about the uh, about people talking? You knew it was coming. You also knew where you were trying to go in life. And that it will open you up to a whole new level of public opinion. So if you want it better, you should have done better. You should have chose better. So don't get mad every time something is said about you and your family. Because this is the life you chose and the person you chose to live it with. 
So you trying to convince people to think highly of you and your you and your life and your family. Some people might, but I don't. I don't really care. Because to me, you one of the weakest excuses of a man to not allow your son to see his mother, in my opinion, but giving advice to other mothers about their kids. When the last time your son seen his mama? You sitting up there on your high horse like you really give a damn about people, but you don't even like your own self. You know, telling your staff not to talk to you. So you need to stop uh, calling other people bottom feeders. And we all know you only married that woman based on her looks. Nothing more. It was nothing more. In my opinion, you wanted to look like you had finally made it in life and needed someone that had an ego as big as yours and could look the part. And here comes Marjorie, ready to make a dollar, in my opinion. You have allegedly abandoned your own kids and family to take care of your wife's kids, in my opinion. Your kids was crying on TV about how you weren't being, you, you weren't there for them when they was growing up. And your excuse was, I was trying to make, uh, I was trying to make a living. And, and if I hadn't to deal with what I did back then, I would, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. But still, you left, you still leaving your kids behind. You didn't left your kids in the dust because the only person that we see that's being taken care of it's Marjorie. I'm mean, Marjorie and her kids. So you calling other people bottom feeders. But what are you, Steve? What are you? So please stop coming for the black community talking about bottom feeders because you stepped on and over all the people in your life that really didn't matter. You left them at the bottom for looks and clout. And that's just my opinion. So when you call somebody a bottom feeder, first of all, you need to look at yourself and look at uh, look to the left and see who you married. Just because you can dress it up, don't make, don't make no difference. And that's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think.